Have you ever thought about painting your exhaust tips to give your car that unique look? Because that's what we're gonna do today. I'm Gannon Pritchard and this is Power Nation Garage. So let's be honest, one of the best parts about having a sports car is wrenching on it and tweaking on it, and the exhaust is no exception. Personally, I like the matte black exhaust tips. So we're gonna turn these chrome tips into matte black. So matte black adds a sense of aggressiveness, performance, and style without even having to rev your engine. And it's affordable. You don't have to remove your exhaust, but I did for demonstration reasons. But to be honest, it is easier to paint and do the prep work if you do remove the exhaust. You're gonna need some sandpaper and you're also probably gonna need some hand protection. I use these blue gloves because you're gonna get them dirty. You wanna take your sandpaper and you want to remove all the rust and impurities from the top of the chrome. It's hard for paint to stick to chrome, so you wanna go over it and take your time and get all the impurities out, all the soot, all the dirt from in and around the exhaust tip, anything that you're gonna be painting primer. Next thing you want to do is you'll want to take your rag and some paint thinner and clean your area. Get those impurities out and then go back for a second take and keep wiping until it's 100% clean. The cleaner it is, the better that primer is going to stick. Next in the process is your tape job. I use two thicknesses of painter's tape, a half inch and a two inch. You want to use the half inch to get the line that you want around the exhaust tip, followed by the two inch, inch and a half, inch and three quarter, whatever you have to keep the paint away from the other parts of the exhaust. Take your paper and take your time also and get it all situated and ready to prime. Before you start priming, make sure you shake up your paint and your primer really, really good. Shake and shake and shake again. For your first coat of primer, give it a nice base coat, not too much, just enough for it to stick on there and dry. After your first coat, hit it again with a second coat followed by a third coat if needed. Once dry, go over it with your first coat of black paint. Hit it with a base coat, not too much, just enough to give the paint something to stick to. You don't wanna make the paint run and the paint can only hold so much, so don't overdo it. On the final coats, Lay it on there nice and heavy, but not too heavy. You also don't want it to run on your final coats because if it does, then more than likely, you're gonna have to start all over from scratch and that's no fun. After your final coat dries and it's fully painted black all the way around, now it's time to clear. Hit it with your first clear coat, give it a nice base. And once it's completely dry after about 15 minutes, hit it again with a nice solid clear coat finish and let it sit and dry. Once the clear coat has cured, it's time to remove the paper and take a look at your brand new exhaust tips. As you can see, the stock tip was kind of beat up, it was discolored, and it just didn't look very clean. And as you see our finished product, the matte black looks fantastic, and the best part is it's affordable. So that's pretty much all there is to it. It's pretty easy, and just about anybody can do it. Now let's do this side.